This is Lloyd Gaines. Did you know on March 19, 1939, a few months after he prevailed in a lawsuit to force the University of Missouri to accept him in an all-white law school, Lloyd Gaines went missing and was never seen again. After graduating from the historically black Lincoln University in 1935, Lloyd Gaines applied for admission to the segregated school of law, the only school of law in the state at the time. In March of 1936, the school notified Mr. Gaines that his application had been rejected and instead offered to subsidize his tuition elsewhere at a historically black law school or a non-segregated law school in another state. With the NAACP support, Mr. Gaines rejected the offer and sued the University of Missouri to challenge his policy that barred him from attending the law school in his home state merely because of his race. Mr. Gaines lost in state courts and appealed his case to the U.S. Supreme Court where he won in December of 1938. As a result, the University of Missouri was ordered to accept Mr. Gaines to its law school or create an in-state law school for African Americans. The Missouri legislator responded by establishing a separate unequal law school for African Americans that the NAACP insisted did not comply with the court's decision. Later, when the NAACP was preparing to file another legal challenge, it learned that Mr. Gaines went missing. A housekeeper at his residence in Chicago reported last seeing him on March 19, 1939. Without a plaintiff, the desegregation lawsuit against the University of Missouri was dismissed. It would be another decade before the school would admit its first African American student. What do you really think happened? happened to Mr. Gaines. Did you know that this happened? Now you do. Follow for more.